Bienvenidos a la Cocina de Dad. So anyway, um, I'm using uh, mom's iPhone because none of my stuff uh, is here at home, including cameras, all that stuff. I don't even have a tripod. So here you go, phone, phone camera. So this stuff, um, when you do the Spanish rice, it's about as easy as it gets. But you need to take this to create a sauce that you'll then put on into the rice. Uh, so the place to start, though, is with the Instapot and get the saute thing on. Because getting the rice toasted is the long part. It's the part that takes the longest. Um, so a couple of tablespoons of, of oil will work. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure if you saw that, but there's a, there was a couple tablespoons of, uh, I used uh, avocado oil in the in the pot um, what happened was is I am holding mom's iPhone and I pushed the button and turned it off so then uh, one cup of rice you can double everything of course to do that but you need to get this in there fairly soon because it does take a long time and a lot of stirring to um, to get that to go brown and so if you uh, look at it, it looks like I got it about right I mean you want the stuff to get covered with the oil so I'll leave that that's gonna take a while to, to toast and so we'll get back to this so what we have is um, Fresh tomatoes. These are the Del Monte Pickle Petite Dice fresh tomatoes. So a couple of fresh tomatoes would be great. However, um, the problem is in the winter especially, they don't taste any good. I mean, the tomatoes we're getting in the store that come from Chile or wherever they're coming from are just awful. So uh, canned tomatoes are better. Um, this is also tomato puree, which we just happen to have open and have some. That's about a half cup, I think. And um, that adds a lot of flavor, the tomato uh, sauce to the tomatoes. So again, in the summertime, I'd skip all this and just go straight with tomatoes. There's also tomato sauce that says, uh, if you look at it, it's in a little box, and you could probably get it super. It is um, salsonado, salsonado, and that means it's seasoned. And one of the recipes that I saw online said to use that because it puts a lot of nice seasonings in, but I'm not that interested in it, so or can't get it either, so I didn't do it. Um, half an onion, good size garlic I'm putting two in you know you guys like garlic too so that's good and then you really need um, caldo de pollo so that's chicken broth uh, if you have chicken broth in a can you can use that too but honestly if you want it to taste like Mexican rice you got to use nor and that's the way that goes so what I what I did was is I've got my ninja and this particular one is the one that doesn't have markings on the side so this is what I use for stuff that's uh, that needs to be blended that has garlic in it all right, so uh, I just realized I didn't peel that garlic, so I'm going to peel that garlic and come back to you. All right, so that was just the time it took to peel two cloves of garlic, and I cut those things up a little bit more in corners. Um, don't know if you can hear that, but it's already starting to toast, so I need to just keep stirring it. Don't let it stay too long. Again, this is already hot and starting a little bit. Um, but it takes a long time. So over here, these guys in the blender, in the blender. And then we are going to need to add a little water. So here's the color of the pollo. There's the um, two tomatoes. And then I'm not going to get it all in here. I don't need any water. Um, it's a little bit heavy, so yeah. There we go. So normally I'd use some water, but let's see how it goes. Um, See if I can get it to work. Uh oh, mom, need help. Don't have enough hands. There we go. Got it. Actually. All right. So complete liquefy. Okay, an optional step. Uh, we're gonna put a serrano in there. Normally, I'd use maybe a jalapeno or two, um, but I don't have any, so. Serrano. Uh, if you decide to use a serrano, you got to decide how hot you like it. Um, the seeds are fine. You just leave them. In. Just chop it up tightly. So mom's chopping, of course. And then we'll put that in. So that'll just go straight in the rice. The rice is pretty much toasted. Um, notice that um, we're an Asian family, I guess, or half Asian, because that is not long grain rice. Mom grabbed the wrong one. So don't do this. Use long grain rice. If you want Mexican rice. I have no idea what that's going to look like, but it's very, very toasted now, or you know, nicely toasted, so you can see it. Um, I'm going to stop that, so I'm going to hit stop, stop on that, and then okay, well, there's the plan. So. In? Yeah. Go ahead and pour that in. Pour that on there. And then the other thing that's completely optional, um, you can decide if you want to do it or not, is um, vegetables. 
I think a chopped, having a chopped uh, tomato, fresh tomatoes in there, just nice for the chunks. And then here's uh, fresh peas and frozen half cup. Mom says frozen half cup. There you go. She was making her signals. I had no idea what she was saying. All right, so that's it. I mean, this thing is as easy as it gets. Um, you're going to add um, water. So one cup. Seems like there's a lot in there with that in there. Um, but we've made it a few times. It seems to work out. Um, this is one cup of water to go with the one cup of rice. And then there's the extra from the sauce. Seems to be fine. But, you know, we'll see. This is the first time we've done this recipe with these exact proportions. Every time I've done it, I've just done it on my head or done it a little bit different. But it seems to work out. Um, if it doesn't come out dry enough, I can always... Uh, you know, just go a little longer on it. So, take this thing, set it to, now, I don't know if the rice setting works, I've never used it, so I just go to manual, and then turn the time down. Um, they say 10 in one of the recipes I saw, but I thought a little bit longer is better, we don't want it to be hard, but again, if this doesn't come out, we can try more, um, but that should be pretty good, and so we'll put the lid on. and then make sure you put the thing on pressure. So, it should work. It's on high pressure. We'll come back when it's done and show you. Oh yeah, when it's done, don't open it, she says, making hand gestures again. Um, don't open that, let it cool down uh, for you know 10 minutes or so with it closed. Um, that seems to have helped too, but again, it's all an experiment each time, and it seems to be really, really um, forgiving on, on making little changes, so let's try it. Welcome back. Long wait. So it's been 11 minutes sitting. Um, Mom said it can go longer, but um, for now, basically, maybe you just need to make sure the steam is released, and that looks like it's good. So there we are. Let's see what we got. And that's what it looks like. It has a um, it has this uh, sort of I don't know tomato top to it, and so you can see though it looks good. Oops. Let it dry. Yeah. So just stir it up. Wow, it smells good too. So you can see doesn't get easier than that. It's This this rice is um, sticky because it's the short grain, so it should be really fluffy and you can tell. I've got Mexican rice sushi. Oh yeah, Mexican rice sushi for sure. We could wrap it in um, tortillas, I guess, not seaweed. Anyway. It's normally drier. There you go. Instapot from La Cocina de Dad. All right, see ya. Se prendió con el flow Vinova, no tiene frontera, barre como el...